Our story begins with a game called Luna and the Secret Cage, a dating simulation game where the player romances eligible bachelors with the goal of a happy ending. This game in particular was notorious for being exceedingly difficult. Perhaps I was too immersed with its intricate gameplay. The day I finished the game, I met an untimely demise. However, I was reborn. I was now Remillion, daughter of Luna, the game's main character. I was reborn after the game's main storyline ended. This meant that I had no way of twisting the original narrative. Furthermore, my mother had been tragically imprisoned by my father and the villain of this story, King Varys of the Alos Kingdom. I found myself in the world of the bad ending. Her mother asks her lion, shall we gaze at the stars together? We elves can read them, you know. After listening to that she asks her mother really we can read the stars. Her mother replies that's right. We can even predict things like the weather from their movements. After that lion tells her mother I want to learn too. Then her mother replies of course, darling. And says I quote I'm sure you'll pick it up in no time. While her mother puts her hand on her head she suddenly feels something and thinks Varys must have beat her again. My poor mother, I can't let her waste away here. But to escape, we must run away from the reaches of Varys's kingdom. Luna was an elf who could use ancient magic. Among her spells was teleportation however, according to the bad ending, when she tried to use it to escape Varys. She did and have enough mana and was captured, while any other storyline would have permitted her to amplify her magic. Varys held on, making it impossible for her to escape. Since I quote him a half-blood elf, we decided to gather what little magic I had to support her spell and run away. I even made a promise, I'll always protect my mom. Meanwhile, three years later a lady knocks the door of a house and asks is anyone home. Suddenly she sees Lion and says there you are. After listening to Lion says hello to her. Then the woman gives the apples to her. After taking the apples from her Lion says thank you so much. I'll show my mom once she gets home. Suddenly the woman looks inside the house. After that Lion asks her is something wrong. The woman replies I hear people are looking for someone in town. There's a hefty reward. They're looking for a mother with a daughter around your age. But it can't be. You two have black hair. They're looking for blondes. Plus, I hear the mother is an incredible beauty. And while your mother is quite pretty. After listening to that lion says I see. Then while going away Miss Mary tells her report if you see anything. Okay. There's a big reward. She replies will do. After that she closes the door and gets into thinking. And thinks this is bad they might start to suspect that we used magic to change our hair color. We have to get out of here. Mom, come back soon. Meanwhile later, her mom comes back home. After looking her mother back home she runs towards her and hugs her tightly. She asks her what's wrong, Lion. Then Lion asks her what took you so long. And her mother asks her are you hungry? She replies no, it's not that. He's come for us. MS. Mary said there were some people in town. Looking for a mother-daughter pair our age. We have to run away. There's still time. We have to hurry. After listening to all that her mother says you're right. I'll prepare the teleportation while you gather our things. Then Lion replies okay. After that they starts the teleportation. But suddenly someone knocks their door. Her mother tells Lion they're here. From outside the door they start saying that anyone in there we just need a moment. After knocking the door several times they say looks like they're not cooperating. And someone tells them bust down the door if you have to. After that Lion asks her mother how much longer for the spell. She replies around 15 minutes if I focus. Then Lion says mom, I'll buy us some time. Let's go. And tells her just to concentrate on the spell. After that they tries to escape the house from backside but the soldiers sees them. And someone orders the soldiers that you can kill the girl. But don't let that woman escape. After listening to that Lion gets angry and starts attacking them with magic of pepper spray. While looking at the soldiers coughing she thinks perfect. We just need a little more time now. After that a strange man says now she is using magic. Two can play at that game. And tells his soldiers, prepare yourself after her. After that she again uses a magic and traps the soldiers. The soldier sees that they are not able to move. After trapping the soldiers in her magic she goes to her mother and asks her mom. How much longer? Her mother replies 3 minutes. And says Lion, I'm so sorry. Then Lion replies don't worry. I'm happy to help Will I'll find happiness. And thinks in just a few minutes. We'll live happily ever after. I'll protect you, mom. After that the strange guy again orders his soldier to be ready but this time this soldier is not normal he is also using the magic. The strange guy tells him to just get rid of that brat. Suddenly the guy attacks both of them with a magic beam. While looking at this lion thinks they also have magic. And the beam hits lion. While lying down she thinks if someone asks me this question if you were reborn, would you choose the same parents? I'll always be her daughter. While looking at lion dying like this her mother gets traumatized and shocked and says I'm sorry lion this all happened because of me. And lion's soul says it's okay, mom. I was happy. Wait, I know this feeling. This must be the end. Goodbye, mom. After that she dies her mother screams for her that don't leave me. And then she puts her down and says don't worry no matter what I will save you. 
After that she starts doing magic. While watching her doing this the soldiers thinks to stop her. Then she casts some spells and thinks I won't let you die, lion, even if it costs me my life. Suddenly a leaf falls on lion's eye and she wakes up. She sees the sky and says a golden glow, how pretty. After that she suddenly remembers what happened with her in past and thinks wait, I got hit by that spell. But I quote am not dead. Was it all a dream? No. Then where's mom? Maybe she was able to heal me. And where did all those knights go? This is the same forest, so we didn't teleport. The village should be around here. It's our OLTBY village. It must be. But it almost looks brand new. While she looking the village she gets hit by a woman and falls down. The woman asks her are you okay? You must be new here. Where are your parents? After that she sees the woman and thinks wait, don't tell me this is MS. Mary. She should be in her 50 seconds, but she looks so young now. Then MS. Mary says you look hungry. And ask her do you want one apple? And says it's our village first harvest. But I promise it's good. After listening to that lion thinks first harvest. Then that meets. And asks MS. Mary what year is it? MS. Mary replies 1840, of course. After listening to that she gets shocked and thinks that's 20 years ago and 12 years before I was born. I'm in the past. Meanwhile later at night. MS. Mary takes her home and tells her to rest up. And says you must be tired. Lion replies thank you and goes inside the room. After that from inside the room she listens that someone asks MS. Mary who's that kid? And MS. Mary replies don't know but she must be in shock from losing her mother. She does not remember much. After that she goes towards the window and sees the moon. And thinks I won't let you die, Lion. Even if it costs me my life. She sacrificed herself to send me to the past and save me. Then she suddenly stops and thinks hold on. In 1840, mom's still alive. The game Luna and the Secret Cage starts in the year 1845. There's still five years left. Maybe I can change her terrible fate. I can make her happy. After all, I know how this all plays out. Ben sees a golden glow and thinks that golden glow or was it just the moonlight? Anyway, as long as I can put an end to that bastard, Varys. After that she again sees the golden light and thinks it's happening again. It is because I had the will to change the future. A time paradox. If a person goes back in time and their parent gets killed, what happens to them? The future of my birth would disappear. Does that mean I'd never exist? If I change the past, I may erase my existence. I won't let you die, lion, even if it costs me my life. Mom gave up her life for me. If she did not do that in the first place, I'd already be dead. All that matters is her happiness. I don't care what happens to me. I love you, mom. Let us meet again. There's only one way to defeat Varys and save my mom. I have to meet him. Meanwhile at the palace, the guard looks at her and welcomes her. Suddenly he remembers something and says hold on. And asks her how'd you open the door. He looks at the door and says it has a magical seal to keep out intruders. After that she replies hello. My name is Remillion. I came to see. The grand master of this edifice. Then the guard asks her do you have an appointment. She replies nope. But I don't mind waiting. Then the guard says you must have an appointment. Plus, there's a one year wait. Suddenly the gatekeeper says he's coming. Get ready. Get into position. After that the guard says so if you could just put your name on the waitlist. But Lion Does and replies him and runs towards the gate. While looking at her the guard thinks a magic sigil. Is it an attack? And tries to stop her with his magic. After that she gets tied by his magic and falls down. After that the guard asks her just who are you? And says you are using magic weight. It was to remove your disguise. Suddenly the Grand Master steps there and asks the guard what's this? The guard replies my apologies, Grand Master. Suddenly Lion says I came to talk to you. I quote him an elf. I promise it's worth your time. After listening that she is an elf people starts talking she is an elf that's impossible. After that the guard says hey, kid, it's not good to lie, you know. You actually expect his excellency to believe that nonsense. While all this is happening suddenly Archmage Chief Aid Witty and Kleiselmer steps in and says what a brave little girl, don't you think? Then the Grandmaster tells him to keep quiet. After that Witty and asks him what shall we do with her. Grandmaster replies take her. I'll interrogate her myself after my meeting. Then he says understood. After that Wedian goes to her and says now, if you'll come with me. She replies okay and thinks interrogate. Ha, huh. but whatever happens I have to save my mom. She deserves a better future. I thought they'd lock me up. Then suddenly he says he allow me to introduce myself. I am the Archmage Chief Aid. Wedian Kleiselmer, at your service. After listening to that she says hello Mr. Kleiselmer. Then he tells her you can just call me Wedian. And says just Wedian is fine. Never mind. I'm sure that will come with time. After that she says well, my name is Remillion. Then he thinks what a magnificent name. And says since we have some time, if you don't mind, Lady Remillion. And asks her why don't we get you cleaned up and dressed up to meet the Grand Master. After listening to that she asks him oh, am I that dirty? He replies no no it's not. Then she says I guess it was a long journey here. After that Wedian says Nuo. 
That's not what I meant at all. There's no need. If you don't feel comfortable, then she tells him it's fine. I quote LL wash up. After listening to that he thinks at least she's not upset and asks her if you insist then let me call in some assistance. After that he moves his finger and suddenly a beautiful girl steps in. While looking at her lion thinks wow, so pretty, and asks him is she a robot? He replies this here is my friend, Cora. Then she suddenly says friend. I reject that notion, Widian. After listening to that he says how could you say that after all this time? That hurts. Then she says any pain should be examined by the infirmary on the 25th floor. After that he says to Lion my apologies for the scene. You will be in Kura's care from now on. I promise you're in good hands. Then Kura says yes, much better than Widian's. While they are talking suddenly a message pops up. After seeing the message Widian leaves and says I have to go. I'll see you later. Then Kura asks her shall I prepare a bath. Lion replies I can do it myself. Then Kura asks her is there a problem with my services. She replies it's not like that. And says it's just that. I'm an intruder, right? Both of you are being far too nice. I don't know what to say. After listening to her Kura says intruder. You are the archmage's guest. Who he intends to converse with. Then Lion says but he said he'll L interrogate me. After that Kura replies that's just how he speaks. And says if he had planned to charge you as an intruder. He would have handed you over to the knights of the edifice. Thus, you are our honored guest. After listening to that Lion thinks well, that's a relief. Then Kura says attending to the Grand Master's guests comes naturally to an automaton like me. So do not fret. Please accept my services in kind. After that Lion says thank you Kura and tells her I'll do just that. Then Kura tells her I'm much more competent than Witty. After that while taking bath Lion thinks well. Kura was an automaton created by Witty. Not all automata are humanoids. Their form varies depending on the individual mage who made them. It takes quite the advanced magic to create such a sophisticated automaton that is indistinguishable from a human. Merely the existence of Kura is evidence of the magnitude of skills the mages of this edifice possess. In this world, there are five subsets of magic. Elemental, alliteration, creation, origin and special. It seems that Widian is a mage of the creation type. I wonder which type I am. After that Lion asks Kura can I really wear this? Kura replies of course. That is why I brought it here. Then Lion asks her but isn't this a bit extravagant for a guest? After listening to that Kura says it's a shame it isn't custom made. Next time, we'll tailor one for you. While listening to that Lion gets shocked and says this is more than enough. Suddenly a message pops up in front of Kura. After seeing the message she says it seems there has been a situation. I have to leave you for a short while. It's likely that another mage may visit you. I will have someone provide you with a visitor's pass for the edifice. Keep it on you. After saying all that Kura leaves. Meanwhile later, while sitting on sofa she listens that someone says I'm from the elemental lab. I have the pass you requested. After that she turns around and sees a man entering the room. The man says oh. So you're the brat who dared to call upon the Grand Master. While looking at him she thinks I remember him. Glare Senrose, the villain who harassed my mom. What will gonna happen next will she able to find her mom or not to find out? Just do like, share, subscribe and comment down if you want the part 2 as soon as possible.